بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم أما بعد أي الأحباب worship عبادة belongs to Allah عز وجل alone and no matter what people tell you with regards to the Salihin, with the regard to the righteous people that they're still alive, they're in Jannah with Allah Azza wa Jal, and we can pray to them, we can supplicate to them. Uh, maybe they're in receiving comfort in the grave so we can interact with them in Al Barzakh. All of this is unfounded as far as having a relationship with them after they have deceased. So therefore, the Muslim does not pray or supplicate, make dua, seek help and support and assistance from the dead. Regardless of whether they were a righteous person, like the prophets, alayhim afdha salatu wasalam, who were the best of mankind, or they were angels who are near to Allah azza wa jal, or they are just people who are known for goodness and kindness and their worship of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala or other than them. None of this is substantiated by Kitab Allah wa Sunnah Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And the evidence to support this, Ayyul Ahbab, we find it in Surah Al Isra, verse 57. Where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Fi kitabihi al-kareem, Ulaika al-ladheena yad'oona yabtaghoona ila rabbihim al-wasilata ayyuhum aqrab, wa yarjoona rahmatuhu wa yakhafoona adabuhu. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Fi kitabihi al-kareem, Those to whom they call upon, themselves seek the means or access to their Lord as to whoever of them becomes nearest. Ayyuhum Akrab. And Wayarjun Rahmatu and they desire his mercy. Wayakhafuna Adabahu and they are fearful of his punishment. This is the verse in Surah Al Isra. Ayyullah Bab Listen to this hadith in Sahih Muslim related to the tafsir of the Sahaba radiallahu ta'ala anhu majma'een Abdullah bin Mas'ud radiallahu ta'ala anhu reported in connection with the words of Allah the exalted and glorious which is the verse we just mentioned those to whom they call upon themselves seek the means or access to their Lord as to whoever of them becomes nearest or comes nearest, Al-Ayah, that it related to a party of jinn who were being worshipped and they embraced Islam, but those who worshipped them kept on worshipping them, though the jinn whom the misguided people worship had become Muslims. It was then that this verse was revealed. So this verse was revealed, the context pertinent to those people who had went astray and were worshipping jinn. They were worshipping the spirits, the jinn. Seeking to come nearer to Allah Azza wa Jal. However, that party of jinn embraced Islam. Walhamdulillah, Allahu Akbar. However, the people persisted in worshipping those jinn. This is a lesson, Ayyul Ahbab, for anyone who supplicates, sacrifices animals, or does any of the various acts of worship to other than Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, this is a, an ayat, this is a hujjah, this is evidence against their practice, their false practice, that there were people who before, who were pagans, who took the jinn as helpers and supporters and worship them. But that worship didn't benefit for, benefit them. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala refutes this act and refutes these people in his Quran. Allah is the one subhanahu wa ta'ala 
who said, this is the kalam of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he's the one, tabarak wa ta'ala, who said, أُولَٰئِكَ الَّذِينَ يَدْعُونَ يَبْدَغُونَ لَرَبِّهِمَ الْوَسِيلَةَ أَيُّهُمْ أَقْرَبُ وَيَرْجُونَ رَحْمَتُهُ وَيَخَافُونَ عَذَابُهُ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the one who, who spoke this. He's the one who said, those to whom they call upon themselves seek the means or access to their Lord as to whoever of them becomes nearest. Isn't this a lesson for our brothers and sisters who are followers of Jamaat al-Ahbash? That they should realize that they cannot supplicate to people who died, who couldn't even prevent their deaths. People who, who regardless of if, whether, and if they had relationships with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that were strong in this life, they cannot benefit them. They couldn't postpone their death. They couldn't postpone their sickness. They couldn't alleviate their own suffering. They couldn't even control Allah, their own usage of the restroom. That that was only limited. And when they died, those things were removed from them. And they couldn't stop that. So Ayyul Ahbab, Direct your worship to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and spread this. Spread this to the ends of the earth that people need to come back to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the one who created us, the one who is the only one worthy of worship, the one whom we are in need of, the one we should direct all ibadah to. to. It all belongs to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Inna lillahi wa inna ilayhi raji'un. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyana Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.